All right. Ooh, I am excited. All right. Oh, this is definitely cool. This is really cool. What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. For today's video we have yet another Bespoke Post unboxing video. If you haven't seen the first one, link will be down in the description below. And so what I've been doing lately is I've just been getting their most popular boxes. Like the first one I got the Refresh, this one is the Weekender, and I just got in the mail, I mean I just got an uh, email notification saying what I'm going to be getting for the October box. And man, am I excited for that one. That one's going to be my first actual like month um, themed box for Bespoke Post. But I already gave it away. This is the Weekender. So if you're planning on going on a trip, planning on going out somewhere, you're going to need a stylish way to pack. And that's what this Weekender bag is. It's a nice, cool, stylish little way to pack your weekend trip. Let's get into it. Alright, so here we have our little newsletter. Weekender, as you can see. If you don't already have some trips planned in the near future, you're definitely going to want to make some room now. Okay. This is just a little paper saying what I ordered. All right. Ooh, I am excited. So, Weekender bag is made from Bespoke Post's own company line of trade. And this is cool. Look, check this out. This is reinforced steel. The bottom is reinforced steel, so you won't have to worry about your clothes getting damaged or anything like that. Go ahead and open this up. Oh, it has nice little, nice little buckles here. Go ahead and open that up. Oh, nice. So, as I said, reinforced steel for the inside. Wow, that is really cool. This is definitely a heavy duty bag. Steel on the bottom as well. Okay, let me let me get this, this box out of the way. like about this Weekender bag is yes the fact that it has these really cool straps the fact that it's reinforced steel on the inside I think that is super cool hands down very sturdy you know better than any kind of fabric there's an inside pocket which I did not know oh and it comes with straps too look at that I actually did not know it came with straps that is cool so you can either carry it like a briefcase or swing it around your shoulder, you know, make you look a little more professional, a little cooler. But, so, I've seen quite a few of Weekender bags in stores here and there. I saw one in H&M that was 55 bucks, and it was nothing but like a plastic material, you know. The bottom was completely soft, it had a zipper for the front, you know, and if you're packing for a long weekend trip, if you have a zipper and it's just like you have your clothes bulging out and stuff, that zipper's going to break. You know, it's not going to be reliable. I saw another one at Marshall's that was actually $70. You know, so for Bespoke Post, any of their monthly subscription boxes is only $45. Bucks, and for $45, bucks, you're getting heavy-duty material, a cool weekender bag, plus they send you little goodies. Oh, yeah. You know, you're going to get hungry on that weekend trip. 
like I said in my previous videos, I'm going to San Francisco later on in the year, so, and I'm taking the bus over there, it's going to be a 16 hour bus ride. Also have my little portable charger, which I thought was pretty cool. This actually did not come with the Weekender bag, the snacks did, but I bought this one separately. And yeah, you know, if you're going, if you're planning on going on a trip, you need to have your phone charged, you need to, you know, just make sure everything is good, everything's okay. But I'm actually really excited for this. I'm going to try packing some stuff in here and see w what I can get away with. Because honestly, before having this Weekender bag, the bag that I would use all of the time, no matter if I was going away for one day, two days, however many days, I had one standard luggage. And everybody would make fun of me because of how gigantic it was, you know? Even my girlfriend told me not too long ago, about last week, she was like, Hey, I think you're going to need to get your own lift when we get to San Francisco because your luggage isn't going to fit in the car. And I told her, well, you know what? I actually have something in store. So that's what, this is what I have in store. Let me show you guys the luggage just to compare. All right, guys. So believe it or not, this used to be my standard luggage my standard suitcase where if i was going away for one day two days even one night this is what i would take with me just because i didn't have anything else to carry my stuff so this is what i would use and as you can see that thing is enormous look at this okay look at this first of all this is a lot more stylish secondly it's a lot smaller in size so i won't have to be lugging this around when I can simply just carry it or use the straps and throw it over my shoulder you know so this is definitely a win like I said a lot more stylish and I'm definitely looking forward to using this in the near future alright so before I get into packing the weekender bag and seeing how much stuff I can fit in there I wanna go ahead and open this bad boy for you guys little portable charger that I got from bare bones Oh, it's actually pretty heavy for a little portable charger. So here are the instructions, obviously. And this is the little portable portable charger. It's pretty cool. It's a lot heavier than I thought, but it is a good like small pocket size. Now, this portable charger from Bespoke Post says that it has it has 19 watt hour pack so I don't really know how portable chargers work I've never actually owned one but it wasn't too expensive I think it was like 10 bucks I'm excited to use this I'm gonna go ahead and charge it up seems like I just plug it into here um, yeah so I guess I just plug it into there ah there we go I was gonna say it sucks that it didn't come with a charging port but Oh wow, it's so tiny. So cute. So I'm going to go ahead and put this to charge. While this is charging, I'm going to go ahead and pack the Weekender bag so we can see how much clothes and stuff we can actually fit in there. Alright guys, so I went ahead and took off the other shirt because it started getting a little bit hot. But I just wanted to show you guys how I'm going to be folding my shirts. Now, because I am staying for four days and this is going to be the only luggage I will carry, I want to minimize the amount of space taken inside of the bag so I'm actually going to go ahead and do something called a ranger roll and I'll show you guys just how that works. Alright so we are going to start off by laying the shirt flat and don't mind the wrinkles I just got this shirt out of the washer not too long ago. Okay so you lay everything flat make sure that everything is straight and you're going to basically fold over one half straight down the middle. Pull the sleeve inward, like I said, make sure everything is straight, you don't want any bulges or anything popping out like that. So, fold the other side right over the middle, fold in the, the other sleeve, and you're going to grab it from the collar, and you're going to start rolling it. Now, when you roll it, you want to roll it as tight as possible. So, you just basically continue rolling, 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 and when you get to the very end, what you want to do is grab the excess fabric from the bottom of the shirt and actually 
go over the whole roll. You go over it like this, so you're left with this little, like, baby burrito. So this actually will take up a lot less space than if you were to stack your clothes like this. Because this is just going to pile up and pile up, where this you can fit four shirts in one space. That would be equal to one shirt. And the funny little thing about this is if you actually wrap it tight enough, you can throw it against the wall. But yeah, and it won't come undone. A few moments later. So I did take a little break, started watching some YouTube tutorials, and I got everything that I need for a four day trip packed away in here. It actually fits really well. Now the thing is, if this were any other weekender bag, I would not be able to zip this closed, but thankfully Bespoke Post was considerate enough to not put zippers and check it out so I have my socks I like funky socks guys that's my thing funky socks okay I have my hoodie rolled up into a baby I have my turtleneck my burrito pants burrito shirt uh, like these are like a torta pants not really a burrito Look, I got my dop kit at the very bottom. Always put the bulkiest at the bottom. Burrito shirt, burrito shirt, button up shirt, burrito shirt. My trousers, my nice trousers. And I figured I'd put my shoes at the bottom. Instead of putting my socks inside, I went ahead and made little burrito boxers so I can stuff my shoes with my boxers. You don't want any empty spaces, and yeah. This actually feels nice to hold. Like, it doesn't feel too heavy, it doesn't feel too light, it doesn't feel bulky at all. And if somebody sees you walking around with this cool weekender bag, they're gonna be like, dang, that guy is stylish, that guy is cool. Imagine carrying this around versus this. That is completely empty and super heavy for no reason. So that is it for this video. I just showed you, you can basically pack four days worth of stuff into this Weekender bag. And it's really cool. I love the fact that it's steel enforced. That means it's not flimsy or it's not like giving you a hard time when you're carrying it, like flapping everywhere. It's nice. It's sturdy. I love the handles, the buckles, because when I was closing it, I did have to put a little, like, oomph into it, you know? And I know for a fact if I would have had a zipper, would have completely broken it. For the straps, I love the fact that they're opposite. So there's one strap on this side, one strap on the other side. That makes it so convenient so when you're walking, everything is balanced out. It's not crashing into you or hitting you or just being obnoxious flying everywhere if it's we're on the same side but yeah that's pretty much it for this video guys let me know what you guys think let me know if you liked it and before ending this video i just wanted to give a quick shout out to my boy miguel a hey, take it easy miguel you the homie bro thank you for subscribing thank you for turning on those post notifications if you guys liked this video let me know in the comments down below. I'm looking forward to making more kinds of videos like this. Yeah, so that's it for this video. And I hope you guys like it. Take it easy. Have a nice day. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. So before closing this video off, one quick thing that I just found out that I thought was pretty cool. For the bare bones portable charger, also has a built-in flashlight. Which is pretty cool. You never know when that's going to come in handy. I just wanted to show you guys how I'm going to be folding my shirts. So I'm... Bruh. Jesus Christ. Hello?